latest on the origins of the coronavirus the latest world health organization china report on the origin of coronavirus has come under scrutiny again a group of 24 scientists from europe the us australia and japan have issued an open letter demanding for a broader investigation into the report the open letter first carried out by new york times pointed out that the study's conclusions were based on unpublished Chinese research. It added that critical records and biological samples that could provide essential insights into pandemic origins still remain inaccessible. It now wants China to disclose the information for the lab hypotheses to be proven. The scientists have requested a probe involving biosecurity and biosafety experts conducted either by WHO or another group of nations to study about virus origins. They clarified that the letter was not aimed to gang up on China but stressed on the need of a thorough investigation. The signatory of the letter says, and I quote, it absolutely makes sense to establish a global regulatory system overseeing aggressive work with dangerous or deadly pathogens everywhere. Remember the joint study by WHO and China was released last week. It attributed the likeliest transmission route for SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19, involved bats and other wildlife in China and Southeast Asia. It ruled out the possibility it had leaked from a laboratory. WHO's chief, Dr. Ted Ross, who has been accused of complacency towards China, was seen hardening his tone while acknowledging the concerns about China's refusal to share raw data about early COVID-19 cases. Meanwhile, international pressure has been mounting on China. Countries across the world have raised concerns over the delayed and lack of access to complete data. Japan has now demanded independent probe into the COVID origins. で、今回の調査について、調査の実施の遅れに加えて、本データ検体のアクセスの欠如といった点を懸念をしているところであります。Earlier 13 nations including US, Japan, Canada, Australia and the UK issued a statement saying that the study on the source of COVID was significantly delayed. We agree. And we have long said, as I just stated, it lacks crucial data, information, it lacks access, it lacks transparency. It certainly, we don't believe that in our review to date that it meets the moment, it meets the impact that this pandemic has had on the global community.